Hey guys and welcome to my unspeakable horrors guide. These are monsters you can put in your personal owned slayer dungeon for some nice experience and profit but you can also kill these monsters at a low slayer level for a decent amount of money and experience. So when you've already grabbed your cup of tea, sit back, relax and enjoy. Kicking off with the requirements, these creatures require you to have completed the Cabin Fever quest, which I will have a guide on linked in the description below, scheduled to upload very soon. You also require a level 58 Slayer to kill these in the regular caves, or 99 Slayer to put them in your personal own Slayer dungeon after capturing the souls. You also require a Witchwood icon to negate the mechanics so that you can AFK them, and you require some decent combat stats and gear. Now the great thing about these creatures is, is they drop noted items. All of their worthwhile drops, except for the weapon poison, are noted. So you can easily pick them all up using area loot. The main money you'll be making is from the coin drops and the noted item drops. But if you're lucky, you can also get yourself a black mask worth over 1.4 million GP. And occasionally the scare tactics book, which is worth over 400k. This book unlocks a few abilities, as you may or may not know, like demoralize or rout. And whenever you do get these, it's a nice add-on on the profit per hour. Let's move on to the gear setup examples. Okay, this is a magic and melee setup example using tier 70 power armor and a tier 90 weapon. You do not require a tier 90 weapon, in fact you can kill these at much lower stats and gear, but to AFK this is the recommended gear. You don't need a kiln cape at all, you can use a skill cape or any other lower level cape. You don't need tier 90 weapons at all, but you do need that tier 70 armor if you have the money for it and the stats. So 70 plus defense and you know, your combat stats like magic attack and stuff, you want to have that at least to AFK these. For your inventory setup, you just want to have all of the noted drops and super restores, prey potions or super prey renewals to replenish your prayer and a mechanized siphon if you're using a augmented weapon and you want to siphon it automatically for experience. You do need a witchwood icon like said previously, otherwise you will have to deal with the mechanics and you won't be able to AFK because they hit much harder. Now to AFK these with just melee prayer, you do need a bunyip for passive healing, or you can use soul split, but then you'll use more prayer and you have to sip your super restores or prayer potions more often and it's less AFK, or you need to use a vampirism aura, and you can also use a penance aura if you are using soul split, but the easiest way to AFK these is definitely by using a vampirism aura and just using your melee prayer, more on that later. I thought it would be a good idea to mention a bunyip at the gear setup though. Whether you need to collect the souls, or if you want to do them in the cave, the easiest way to get there is by using a charter ship from the Port Sarum Lodestone. When choosing a port, you need to choose the Moss La Harmless port. Once there, you need to follow the video as seen towards the cave. To get inside the cave safely, you require a light source. You can use a candle or the 99 fire making cape if you have it, because the skill cape perk is also a light source. Upon entering the cave for the first time, you will see the regular cave horrors, but you need to move all the way to the back to find the unspeakable horrors. Now, killing these horrors is pretty straightforward, even if you're just collecting the souls. Do keep in mind, if you're collecting the souls, you will require empty Ushaptis to be brought with you. You can get some for free, depending on your Slayer level, or you'll need to buy them for Slayer points at any Slayer Master. Killing the creatures in the caves themselves is slower experience per hour and less money per hour, but still a decent 330k plus experience per hour, and you can still make a nice little profit. Again, the profit does vary depending on how many scared tactics and black masks you receive as a drop. The aggression of these monsters is lost every 10 minutes or so. If it is lost, just walk down back to the regular cave horrors and then move back to your spot to get them re-aggroed again. To get to your personal owned Slayer dungeon, you will require level 99 Slayer and you want to teleport to the Manaforce Lodestone. Then follow the video as seen and then once you reach the dock, choose the option to go to the Sunken Pyramid. If you've never been here before, you can get free Ushaptis depending on your Slayer level by entering the dungeon straight away and then using your Ghost Peak Amulet to talk to the ghost inside. If you have yourself the five souls in the Ushapti, you want to go ahead and put them in your small room. You can put a total of five of these in your room and you want to have five, otherwise it's not worth using them. As you see here, I'm replacing my spiritual warriors with the unspeakable horror souls. 
Keep in mind when replacing a soul, the original soul, for example, in my case, the spiritual warriors are actually lost. Okay. Now, despite these creatures being weak to air spells, these are best killed using melee. As with melee, I had a higher experience rate per hour, being around 510k experience per hour using Bandos and a Noxious Scythe, and with magic, I only got around 440k experience per hour. This also then cuts into profit, because less kills per hour with magic means less money per hour from the noted consistent drops. Now I said earlier these were easiest to AFK using a Vampirism Aura and the Melee Prayer or Deflect Curse, and that's still the case. You can also use Soul Split like said previously, but this then cuts into the AFKness as you need to keep an eye on your prayer. Using a Penance Aura for the prayer, and then using your Hands Excalibur every now and then also works, as these creatures really don't hit very hard as long as you're wearing the Witchwood Icon. And so they're very easy to AFK. The reason you do not want to put these in the large room is that they don't aggro you as well. Even sometimes in the small room they don't even properly aggro you for some weird reason, but I guess that's just what it is. Now, another thing to note, every 10 minutes, these creatures will stop attacking you in your personal own Slayer dungeon to then reset the aggression you simply want to walk out of your dungeon and then go back inside. It really is that easy. Now, for those of you wondering, the amount of GP per hour you make here consistently is a bit over 3.5 million GP, and if you get lucky with Scare Tactics and Black Masks, you can easily get up to 6 or even 7 million GP per hour, which is really good for such an easy Slayer monster. And with that being said, I think I've covered most of this guide. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing. And if you're interested in more data and common experience rates and stuff like that, especially for Slayer, I did make a spreadsheet recently where I'm going to be documenting all of the high-level Slayer tasks and non-Slayer creatures and their experience rates of task. Linked in the description below, by the way. Catch you guys later. Peace.